Assalamu alaikum guys um, I read to a place that I always love to go and that is a mountain here in the background far away you can see there is a mountain and it's called Jianfang Shen Shen in Chinese means mountain and uh, Shan is always there Jianfang is, is the name here in Zhuhai Zhuhai Z is pronunciated as like Z or Z is pronunciated as J Zhuhai so you can see around this uh, small bridge and down there that's the spring water coming from this mountain there is like this is a hot place of course this uh, no glaciers here <laughs> just uh, a spring is there coming from different areas you can see down there and let me show you around this is the track that goes to that area in the mountain and this track is coming from this place and there is another track going upwards from that area so these are just some trees here you can see around I uh, actually I belong to a mountainous area that is Kashmir so I always love to go such places where I can see some mountains so this is one of those areas you can see that's beautiful and a little bit scary some people are here coming moving around and they just go hiking jogging somewhere down there and uh, some are coming for hiking here this the top there you can see a tower and uh, this is very this area is very close to the sea uh, near Hong Kong and Macau as uh, I had discussed it in another video today so oh, look at the Sun oh, beautiful sunset is there because it's um, 4 30 or 5 p.m. here so this is it guy guys and uh, yeah there is some uncle coming behind me he's probably you know hiking somewhere and it's a good place but there are so many mosquitoes uh, you can you know I'm wearing these kind of shorts you see so, so many mosquitoes are there and the track, you know, leads to the start or maybe a parking area. You go down there and you'll feel, uh, see the parking area. Hello. Okay, <laughs> so, yes, you can get a taxi from the downtown Zhuhai and uh, it will take you around 15 to 20 quiet bucks and you can reach to this place there are so many other mountains but i checked on the iphone map it was showing me that there is a jin jiafang yeah jin jian jianfang park out there so i just clicked and got a taxi and came here this was my last day of quarantine and maybe i'm gonna get go busy after a few days so uh, probably I wouldn't have that much time this area this track goes to the top of this mountain and uh, I don't know I cannot switch the back camera here I'm holding my front camera that's why you can see me and I need to rotate this camera like this one hello <laughs> so uh, this is the track to go top the top of the mountain there and there's some trees forest it kind of jungle there are so many trees here you know plantation they take care of plantation too much and down there it's pretty awesome uh, maybe I'll show you if I reach there on time but it's a good place uh, not so many people in this district in general 
but there are people of course for me i'm coming from my hometown uh, we have very you know less people a few people moving around and our, our one house is here and the other one is kilometer away uh, in rankery cost but yeah see the beautiful place here so i was talking about the population there's less population the the area is well furnished very well well decorated and um it's kind of fancy place they developed this place just because of hong kong and macau that is very near this area but they could not actually bring jobs and they couldn't create a job market so that's why they, and the other you know big reason is there there are two uh, big cities first tier cities near this area and one is guangzhou the, the other one is guangdong and the third one is shenzhen and you cross the bridge there is macau like macau is not no need to cross the bridge there is macau and the third one is hong kong you need to cross the bridge and you go there for foreigners they need a visa uh, and for the chinese people they just uh, need their just entry or exit something like that but you need a visa you are a foreigner so that's why this area particular area it's very lavish lifestyle is there everything is fine and uh, but they couldn't create the job market so people are moving around in the big cities nearby but their residences are of course here their houses are there and you see i'm out of this jungle or forest whatever you call and uh, it's the sea bank of sea there's like if you go down there that's the sea area um, it's pretty hot here this city is you know hotter than other places in china so probably if you are coming from a place where you always lived in cold weather then that's not a place for you for example canada or some other countries like that but if you're coming from pakistan then it's, it's you know just like spring for you uh yes not probably spring it goes temperature goes up to i think 35 but the facilities are there electricity they don't have any problem in electricity city and all that shit you know whatever we are facing so um i came here today and wanted to let you know about this place where i'll go uh, i'll keep capturing such kind of videos for you guys to you know understand china better uh, because if you never visited china then of course you have a lot of things to discover and we guys can help you out and now you can see the mountain there top um this is just one part this is a mountainous area and uh, covered by so many other small and big mountains that's the parking lot you can park your car or you can get a taxi here a taxi is super easy in china later on i'll capture some videos how to get a taxi in china uh, that's called didi uh, in other countries it's called uber uh, very convenient there are so many apps in china to get a taxi and uh, yeah uh, now it's eight minute minutes and maybe i need to end this video call here not call video here and uh, let's see where i go next tonight i need to move to the hotel as well and i'm waiting for the results i did uh, nat antigen test covid 19 or nuclear case test so i'm waiting for the results it would be on my mobile phone there are so many apps in different cities different apps so once i get my results then i can check in uh, at a new place and it's pretty hot you can see sweat me anyway so nice of you guys and still awesome see you next time